In this video, I'm going to add an extra battery to increase the range on my Mega Wheels Fat Tire e-bike. This battery can be easily connected using plug and play wiring, can be removed very easily. A link to all the products is above and also in the description. But before we get started on the install, please like and subscribe and let's get after it. Here are all the components that you'll need to add the extra battery. The extra battery is a 48 volt, 10 amp hour battery. It comes with its own charger and there is a charge port. There is an option for a 15 amp hour battery version that'll give you even more longer range. You're gonna need a 30 amp battery combiner. This allows you to safely run two batteries. You'll need an extension cable, either six or eight inches long and then an optional switch. Now the switch isn't mandatory, but I like the optional switch. What it does is it allows me to ride out on the factory battery, and then when I get down to about two bars, I switch on the extra battery, and that way I know I'll make it home. So without further ado, let's get started on the install. The first thing I wanna do is make sure the system is de-energized by removing the factory battery. That way everything's powered down. Then I'm gonna need a 10 millimeter socket to remove the six bolts that retains the seats from underneath. Remove the seat and that exposes the controller. You can see here the controller is a 48 volt and its max current is 22 amps and the low voltage cutout is 38 volts for anyone that's interested. What we wanna do is go after this yellow XD60 connector and we are going to separate those. Now, the male version of the XD60 connector, that goes into the controller, and then this one goes down to the battery. And then what we wanna do is grab our battery combiner. This is the 30 amp version, which is more than sufficient. And what's nice is these cables are foolproof. There's only one female connector, so that goes to the controller. You plug that in and then there's two male connectors and those go to either battery it doesn't really matter which one all of these connections can be easily reversed connect that in now i have the factory battery connection and now all i have to do is mount the extra battery now there's a variety of places you could mount it. You could mount the extra battery here to make it look like a reserve tank, but I put a cargo bag up there. I'm gonna mount it here in the frame. And undo these Velcro straps. I'm going to put it in this direction because that way it gives room for the factory battery like that. Go ahead, easily installed like this. And then I just want to double check that I could still mount the factory battery in here, which I can. And it also fits this here like that. And then what I'm going to do is take this Velcro strap. I could put it around here that's on the front or put it on the other side, which I think I'll do. Go around the frame like this. Run it through the like that. Kind of pulls it to one side. There we have it. Now we have this cable like that. And what I'm gonna do is route it over here. Once I get this all laid out, then I'm gonna zip tie the wires all together. So it's nice and tight and you don't see it. I could even use this wire cable that's on here and hide it within the wire cable. I like putting an inline switch. You don't need this, it's optional, but I like this because I can keep it off and then I ride out on the factory battery when it gets down to two bars, I turn on the extra battery and I know I can make it home. I'm gonna go ahead and toggle that in the off position. Go ahead and install this switch. I'm gonna put it so that I can reach down and easily uh, turn on that switch down here, zip tie it to that area there. So I'm gonna go ahead, plug that in. This, if you don't wanna use a switch, you can just use this nice 
eight inch extension piece. Feed your wires in like this to the bottom of the controller box, like that. But I want to make sure that the switch is accessible like that. So probably going to zip tie this stuff like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And before we go any further, let's do a little test to make sure everything is working as expected. So let's go ahead and test everything before we put all the zip ties on and the seat back on. We're going to turn on the factory battery. See, I'm going to turn on the screen. This is in the off position. So pedal assist mode five, we're up to 30 miles per hour. All right, that's good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the factory battery. You're going to see the screen turns off. I'm going to turn on the extra battery and I'm going to turn on the screen again. You can see this. Go up to pedal assist mode five. And you'll see it actually is cruising along at about 34 miles per hour. So it's really putting out the amps there. Now that's with no load. So when there's load on, it really does about 30 miles per hour. So that is the extra battery with the factory battery off. Now let's go ahead and we can turn on the factory battery. And you can see now both of the batteries are on. And you can see that it really gets up there about over 30 miles per hour top speed. All right, we validated everything works. I'm going to zip tie these wires. I'm going to get the seat back on and get it out there for a ride. So on this long straightaway, we're going to perform a speed test. We're going to first go out on the factory battery, come back on the extra battery, then do one with both batteries. So let's get after this speed test. This is throttle only. We're at pedal assist mode five. Here we go. So on this speed run, I'm going to turn on the extra battery. The factory battery is off. We're going to do a speed test and see how it does. Not a real big change in acceleration. Feels about the same. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight miles per hour. So it hits the same top speed. I'm gonna turn on the factory battery. No real change. Same top speed, it's going good. So I think that validates it. You're gonna get the same top speed whether you're on the extra battery or the factory battery. Now this 10 amp hour battery provides about a 12 to 20 mile extra range. That's full throttle further or farther if you're a pedal. That would give you a combined of 35 to 40 miles of range with both of these batteries. Now if you went to the larger 15 amp hour battery, you could easily get over 50 miles of range throttle only, which is pretty impressive for something under $200. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.